Hey y'all, Joe here with Southern Coastal Cooking. I got another souvé video coming at you. After that roast turned out so good, uh, I'm supposed to cook a couple pork butts for a Super Bowl. So what I figured, I'll go ahead and get started and we'll souvé, do some pork butts. I think this will be really, really good. Let me show you what I got here. I've got a couple seven pound pork butts sitting over here. Um, got them in, in the uh, 14 by 12 uh, chamber pouch bag. All right. I've just got some of the Stubbs pork marinade. Now, I did some experimentation with putting rubs on the stuff that goes in here, and it really doesn't do you all that that much good because the rub just kind of comes off because there's so much liquid in the play. So I think it's best just use like a liquid marinade like that. I've got that there. Let me show you what else I'm going to put in there. I have got some, um, some of this just concentrated apple juice. You know, you've seen this stuff before. And uh, I'm going to pour some of that in there. Give it some good apple flavor. All right? That would be really, really good. A little bit more there. All right? So we got that. Now we'll take this over to our chamber sealer, our um, Vatmaster uh, VP112S. Y'all come with me over here. All right, I hope y'all can see. I got it sealed in here. I just press this down, make sure everything's smooth right over the seal bar. Go ahead and do the lid like that. Now on controls, I'm going to do it for uh, 70 seconds of vacuum. So what it's basically going to do, it's going to sit here and take 70 seconds to create this vacuum here in the chamber. Now I'll show you, I'm going to bring it around and show you when it actually sucks all the air out and seals this bag. Now 70 seconds pass, there it goes. Now it's going to the sealing time. And what that did, that sealer bar is just sealing the bag in there. Now the air's about to come out. Oh, watch. That's it. That's what it put the seal on there. So we'll use this to go right in the souve. That's the alarm, letting you know it's sealed. All right, so then we'll just open this up here. We'll check our seal, make sure everything's good. Oh, yeah, everything's sealed up right around. Look at all that good juice and everything. I'm going to set this in the refrigerator just for a little bit, let it hang out with the other one. And then we'll get the souvé unit ready. All right, y'all. So I got the uh, immersion circulator set up here. Uh, I've set it to 140 or so. And right now it's 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 churning up the water. It's about at uh, 134 or so. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, and get the port butts in here. Let's make sure we have a nice fit. So what we do here. So it's just like this. This is the best way to put them. Other one here. Set it just like this. Oop. Uh oh, can't do that. Got to uh, pull my circulator up a little bit. So I don't want it to get past the max fill. Okay. That there. I'm just gonna push this down right on there. All right, so now that I got these uh, in here like this, I'm gonna go ahead and this thing has a lid. It's pretty cool. It fits right here on the. Uh, I may have to pull the circulator out to get this lid to fit. No, there it goes. Goes around there pretty good. This thing is tight. Just like it needs to be. See there? That way, everything fits just right. And uh, you don't lose water to steam and stuff like that. So, that's really good. And we should let that roll, y'all. Looks like a good little situation there. Oh, yeah. We're going to go at least 48 hours, maybe 72 with this. I'll keep y'all updated. All right, y'all. Update here. I've just been doing some research, and it seems... That 140 is not the temperature that we want. We need to up our temp to 165. Guys, it's only going for a few minutes. But that's the temperature to where you get the wonderful pull-apart pork texture. That's what we want. Now, I don't know how long I'm going to let this go. A lot of people say for one pork butt, just do it for 24 hours. Of course, I've got the two in there. 
So I'm gonna ask around. I don't think it hurts to overgo with the um, Suve, but we'll just see. But I am up in the temp to 165. Know. All right, y'all. So we've been going actual temperature at 165 here for about uh, 25, 26 hours, and from what I've read, that's about all you want to cook this pork. Simply because if you go to 48 or something at 165, it'll turn to mush. So we're gonna take it out, put it in this bucket of ice, ice it down with some ice water, set it in the freezer for 30 minutes, and then we'll go into the refrigerator. So let me show y'all. All right, y'all, so I'm going to take these out, get them into the bucket down here, check the seal, make sure everything's okay, and uh, put that in the bucket of ice here, put some ice on top of it, ice water, and let it soak for 30 minutes. All right, y'all, so I left the pork butts just chill out for about 45 minutes in this super cold ice water. In, in my chest freezer. Let's show you what we got here. See there, all the fat started to kind of solidify back in the bags. That's what we want to see. That stuff cooked there. And uh, we're just going to put this uh, back in the fridge. Hey right, y'all. Okay, so we're back again. Uh, finishing off the survey, the pork butts that we did. I'm going to show you what we got. All right, guys, sorry about the disturbance. So, anyway, we're gonna do some of this pig's blanket, the red rub, you know, my favorite pork rub here. And uh, I rubbed these down with mustard, and they've been chilling out in the refrigerator for a couple days after that ice bath. Uh, but what you want to do is you want to get a good amount of this rub on here, um, and this is going to form the crust that we want, um, you know, to make it look like the genuine, you know, the pulled pork, just like it's been on the smoker for. 13 hours or something like that. So anyway, we said we'll put rub down with this rub I may put a little bit of JB's rub on there too. Let me see if I got it Actually, because he's got you know all that Sugars and stuff like that in his Let me find his rub real quick y'all. I'll be right back All right, this is JB Buddy of mine makes this stuff over at Louisiana Cajun Recipes YouTube channel I'm gonna put a little bit of his on there too because it's got some good turbinado sugar and stuff like that and gives the stuff a good bar. Anyway, we'll get these all coated down. And we'll get them out in the smoker, all right, on the yoder. All right, y'all, so here's what we got. We're out here on the yoder. I got it set at about 225 or 230. That's smoke room barbecue pellets. We are dusted the, uh, the butts with the pig's blanket red rub and JB's hay boy rub. So let's look in here what they're looking like. Got them sitting on a frog mat in there, I believe it's what that is. And uh, we're just gonna let them smoke away for a few hours, y'all. All right, y'all, I had to cheat here a little bit. And this stuff, I mean, you know, it was already cooked. Actually, we're just sitting here and smoking it, but look at this. Just pulling it off, I mean, it just pulls right off. It is delicious. I'm gonna flip around maybe so y'all can see. Um, y'all can give it a taste. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That was real good, y'all. You gotta try that souve method for smoking. And look, I mean, you can see a faint little bit of smoke. And we got a little smoke here. You know, but like I said, this stuff is just pulling apart super juicy. And that's ready just to. Oh, yeah. So I want you to just sit here. It's basically just keeping warm out here in the smoker until we go to the Super Bowl party, y'all. This is good stuff. Thanks again, y'all. Y'all, please. Uh, like my channel, or like my video, sub my channel. God bless y'all, and uh, man, we'll continue on here. Smoking on, grilling on, everything. Hey, y'all. The pork butt ended up turning out great. I showed you I tasted it. It pulled apart wonderfully. We ended up putting on some nachos. I'll show you the pictures over to a friend's house for the big game. So, uh, anyway, yeah, I'll check that out. I'll have some pictures rolling right after this.